Hello again guys. Today I got a, a product uh, I want to talk about real quick. This is the airbrush kit I got on Midway USA's website. Um, it's right underneath the Duracoat products. I think it costs like $25, $30. And I was really skeptical when I purchased this because a lot of the uh, comments said that they spent 20 minutes fixing air leaks and they threw it away and went and got a real one and all that stuff. Um, so I've never airbrushed anything before. I'm not really that artistic. But I did want to be able to um, mix colors, so make my own colors. Basically mixing two different colors that I buy to come up with my own. And um, Duracoat seemed like a cheap way to do that, so I had to have a way to apply it, and I did need an airbrush, so I went ahead and bought this one. And I will say that I did have some, not issues, but there's a little flat, um, rubber gasket in this little hose and I tightened it down too tight so no it was not allowing any air to get through this hose I loosened it up a little bit after that it worked fine um, it comes with what you see here you got your little uh, bottle you put your um, dirt coat in plug it in the bottom of that and uh, hit the button and paint comes out so this works fine um, I didn't get real precise with it. I was doing one color, solid color, but it seemed like I could. It was putting a real nice tight, you know, stripe down and applying it very evenly. Um, also, the, another thing, since I'd never Duracoated before, I didn't know how much Duracoat I would need. These are $16 on the Way USA's website, and I bought a four ounce bottle, and I painted an entire gun, including the barrel, and I barely touched that bottle. I mean, I used, it tells you to use four tablespoons of Duracoat and one teaspoon of hardener. I mixed up five tablespoons of Duracoat and I have at least, I don't know if you can't really see this, I got over a tablespoon left. So, plenty of Duracoat to do multiple guns with a four ounce bottle. And they also say that this has a one year shelf life, so keep that in mind. Um, it's not going to last forever just sitting in your garage. But I did um, mix four tablespoons of OD Green with one tablespoon of Tactical Flat Dark Earth, come up with the color I wanted. And um, I got this little air compressor from Walmart for like $70. I use it to air up my tires and everything. It comes with the adapter that screws right on the end of the air hose. Um, I ran, ran it just turned the air up and down until I got a decent spray, you know. I uh, ran about 40 PSI. I don't know if that's actually 40 PSI getting to the, the nozzle or not, but that's what worked for me. Um, so yeah, don't be afraid of this. I don't know how well it would do a Cerakote because it is, I think it's thicker, but it, it works great with Duracoat. Um, there's the the product uh, hanging and drying right now. Here is, it's real hard to see with my, the color in here, but there's the OD Green PMAG, Gen 2 PMAG. And there is the, the color that I came up with. So I think it's gonna look, I think it's gonna look okay. It'll be a little bit lighter than the, the Magpul OD Green. This is for my um, 300 Blackout. I'll let you know what it looks like when I, uh, Oh yeah, there's the barrel. I'll let you know what it looks like when um, I get it all together. And uh, like I say, happy 4th of July. Don't be afraid of buying a cheaper airbrush. Um, if you're like me and you're not going to do it for a living or anything, I think it's a, a decent investment. So, Alright guys, later.